Have you ever heard about the Amish? They're people who live in a special way, kind of like going back in time. So let's learn some really cool facts about how their story began and how they live today. The Amish story started a very long time ago, way back in the year 1693. They were part of a group of people called the Anabaptists who thought that people should wait until they're old enough to understand before being baptized. The name Amish comes from a man named Jacob Amon. He wanted the group to live simply and follow their faith. So the Amish decided to say goodbye to fancy things and focus on helping each other and following their beliefs. Before moving to America, the Amish had a hard time in Europe. Some people didn't like that the Amish did things differently and didn't go to the same churches. This made the Amish want to find a new place to live where they could be safe and free. In the early 1700s, many Amish families packed their things and sailed to America to find peace and freedom. When the Amish first came to America, they mostly settled in a place called Pennsylvania. And this state was known as a friendly place for different religious groups, thanks to a man named William Penn, who believed everyone should be free to practice their own religion. The Amish liked Pennsylvania because it had lots of good farmland for growing crops and taking care of animals. Today, the Amish still live like their great, great, great grandparents did. They use horse buggies to go places, and they also use simple tools on their farms instead of big machines. They also don't use phones, computers, tablets, and many other common devices we use every day. The Amish wear clothes that they make themselves. Their clothes are very simple. Boys wear plain shirts and pants with suspenders. The girls and women wear long dresses with aprons and bonnets. You won't see any bright colors or pictures on their clothes because they like to be plain and not show off. But some young Amish girls use special pins and secret stitches on their dresses to show how good they are at sewing. Amish children go to school, but it's different from most schools. Their school has only one room with one teacher for every child in it. They don't use computers or calculators, just paper, pencils, and chalkboards. And they also only go to school until they're about 14 years old. After that, they start helping at home or learning to work like farming or building things. So what do the Amish do for fun? Good question. The Amish like playing games, telling stories, and spending time outside. One game they play is called corner ball, which is kind of like dodgeball and tag mixed together. They also love to tell stories that their grandparents and great-grandparents told them. It's really like a special family tradition. The Amish like to keep their old ways, but some things have changed a bit. Did you know that some Amish families have little businesses where they make furniture or even some yummy baked goods? They sell these at markets and sometimes visitors come to their farms to learn more about their life. So the Amish aren't just people who live without phones or TVs. They are families who love their old traditions and have lots of interesting stories. So the next time you see a horse and buggy, the people inside might just be Amish. And now you have some fun facts that you can share with your friends and family. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. It really helps out our channel. It sure does. Make sure you subscribe. Bye. Bye.